The Court of Appeal, Abuja Division, has received judgment in a suit filed by the River State Governor, Siminalai Fubara, seeking to overturn the judgment of a federal high court stopping the Central Bank of Nigeria from releasing monthly allocations to River State. The parliament of three justices received judgment in the appeal after the parties adopted their briefs. Fubara, in his appeal, urged the Justice Hamabaka led panel to overturn the lower court's judgment, arguing for the vacation of the order barring state allocations. The panel also consolidated five other appeals arising from the original High Court decision. Justice Baker announced that judgment will be reserved and communicated at a later date to the parties involved. Meanwhile, citing the judgment of a federal high court, the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation says it will withhold October's Federation Account Allocation Committee for River State. However, a spokesperson of the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation, Bawa Mokwa, said the October 2024 FARC allocation has not been distributed yet. He said the federal government will comply with the court order regarding River State's allocation unless there is a contrary directive. Joining us now is Liboro Sushoma, a lawyer and human rights activist. He will be joined by Jake Ekpele, CEO of TAF Africa and an indigen of River State. Well, the matter, as they say, speaks for itself. Confusion everywhere. We will pay, we will not pay. Court says, well, don't pay uh, uh, because of uh, some political crisis in River State. Another court says, well, we reserve uh, judgment. I thought there was a precedence in this. Or is it a new thing? You know, when Lagos uh, allocation was withheld under the uh, uh, Obasanjo administration, the only difference is that then it was creation of local councils. In Rivers, it's about the uh, you know, legality of the, uh, of the uh, River State House of Assembly and uh, who and who approved the budget and all of that. But, you know, these are issues. Uh, let's start with you. You unpack the legal uh, underpinnings. And then we we'll go to uh, Mr. Jake Pele, who is uh, a River State uh, indigent. Maybe he will be in a better position to tell us that it will be well with River State, as we hope. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, congratulations. And, um, but all of this is happening because we operate a feeding bottle system of government where uh, every, every month, you know, governors would all march to Abuja to collect um, feeding bottle. And so that's why the federal government, um, a court can, you know, order or restrain the government to stop allocation to a state. There are copious provisions in the Constitution if a governor violates provisions of uh, the Appropriation Act. Uh, there are provisions in the Constitution that um, the State House of Assembly can activate to deal with it. Um, in the first place, I do not think it is appropriate for a court to order a, a federal government to stop allocation to a, a state. It is akin to punishing a litigant for the crime or sin of, of the lawyer. And uh, in most cases, courts, the same court that frowns on that, at that, is the same court now saying, we'll restrain you from you know, stopping allocation, from uh, paying allocation, be that as it may. Even section 122 of the Constitution, you know, even authorized the governor for six months at least before passage of budget to draw allocation from the cons uh, consolidated revenue fund in default of the Appropriation Act. So, and if you f there is um, any, like I said, there's any violation of any provisions of the Constitution, because I also think, to be uh, uh, fair, that a four-man um, member of, the, of a State House of Assembly, contrary to Section 91 of the Constitution, sitting down to pass an Appropriation Act is an aberration. It's, um, it's, it's a joke, like the Court of Appeal has said, a joke taken too far. But it is left for the House of Assembly to deal with it, to deal with the governor, to um, um, what, what, what have you. You know, copiously look at the provisions of the Constitution and implement whatever sanctions or whatever uh, uh, provisions that are there to checkmate the executive. But the 
cuts the and third arm of the government stepping into it to restrain finances to that state for me it's um, also um, a no no there is basically no no provisions in the law that um, empowers the court to do that well mr pele is this not uh, a way of punishing the uh, people of river state if they don't get the allocations because the money after all belongs to the people not to the politicians who seem to be perpetually uh, quarreling among themselves in River State, turning the state into an atomistic society, perpetually at war with itself. Uh, thank you, Ruben, and congratulations, and congratulations to our RISE team. Uh, you're making Nigerians proud. Uh, Ayo and Rufai, uh, good morning. Uh, look, um, I'm not going to speak on the legality of the issue, but I would focus on the morality of what is happening and the hardship that my people are facing as a result uh, of, of this. Uh, uh, Leboros, my friend, has laboriously uh, put it in context uh, that the law does not support this uh, restraining uh, order and the confusion that it brings. Um, as at this morning, that uh, October allocation have not been given to the state. I took my time, made some calls, and came to conclusion that the Office of the Accountant General is either involved in playing this politics or uh, are taking advantage of the situation to deny the, my, the good people of River State the resources that uh, belongs to them. Um, uh, Ruben and, and, and Lebros, you are both lawyers. I think you need to give Nigerians some clarity on, on Section 102, uh, what it says about uh, the assembly uh, constituting a quorum. Uh, why, why you do that? I would like to say that uh, the people, the people playing this mas uh, drum for this masquerade of impunity and wickedness to the people of River State should bury their head in shame. Because when you do this, your own family is also involved. Your fathers and your mothers will feel the pinch of this financial restraining order on the state that needs it most. There are several implications to all of this. And I think they should know that when you begin to toe this line and creating this hardship in this present or start economy, then you will be uh, activating wickedness. And that's exactly what they are doing. So the people feel the pinch. Uh, these two elephants, both uh, uh, the uh, sitting governor and the former governor, uh, really is taking a toll on the pe good people of River State. And I think we deserve better and we deserve more. Uh, they should, the uh, Accountant General Office should not be involved in politicking this issue. We should separate this issue from the political juggernauts who are taking advantage of this situation and let my state breathe. Let your state breathe. Thank you very much for bringing the moral angle to this story. I think it's important that we continue to talk about that because there are people's lives that have been affected. The indigents, residents of River State, and we talked about that a number of times. But let me come to the legal part, and, and to be in response to the question that Mr. Pele asked. I think we've been, we've discussed this as well with you. Just going back to the genesis of this issue, which is, according to the ruling of Justice Mal um, Abdul Malik, Joyce Abdul Malik in the Federal High Court in Abuja, that until the governor presents the budget to a properly constituted state house of assembly, they should withhold the funds. What is, so we've tried to analyze this, we've had a number of lawyers come on the show, but what is the position currently? And that's the, um, the section of the constitution that Mr. Pele cited. Where are we with that? Because that is a fundamental issue now. I don't know if the other, the, the members who said they're defected, if they've come back to the PDP, not sure about that. But in the event that that hasn't happened, what is the position of the constitution on that? So uh, when you answer that, I'd, I'd then like to ask Mr. Epele that, what's the way forward? I hear you, and a lot of people have talked about the, um, you know, the involvement of the current governor and the previous governor. What, what are efforts made by indigents like yourself, elders like yourself, in finding an amicable solution to this 
war, in quotes, between these two individuals that's affecting the lives of people, for the sake of the people of River State. I'll come to you after Mr. Oshoma. Yeah, let's start from the beginning. And I've said it here, you know, um, a thousand times. If you look at section 109, you know, subsection 1, which said, and then we go to paragraph G, and then you look, sub, look at subsection 2. That section in itself, it's not self-executory. That's what people fail to miss. This section is not self-executory. Otherwise, you'll be giving arbitrary power to some persons. If I don't like you, I can just come and say, oh, you have defected, and then I declare your seat vacant. And that's why the section says, a member of the State House of Assembly shall vacate his seat in the House if being a person whose election to the House of Assembly was sponsored by a political party, he becomes a member of another political party before the expiration of the period for which he was uh, elected, provided that his membership of the political party is not as a result of a division. Yeah. And the court has heard that division does not mean just minor misunderstanding, yeah. because what some politicians do, they will create misunderstanding, local division, and then use it to defect. And the court has, the Supreme Court is in a Begunde's case, has heard it to be a division at the center of the party. And then subsection two says, the speaker of this House of Assembly shall give effect to subsection one of this section. So however that the speaker or a member shall first present evidence satisfactory to the House that any of the provisions of that subsection has become uh, applicable in respect of the member. So if you go further, what the court also has heard in this case is that even the speaker cannot on its own, you must approach the court to activate this subsection too. That is the court that has a right by virtue of the constitution to declare the seat of a member vacant. So in the absence of that, you know, the gov a governor cannot sit down and say, oh, I do no, I no longer recognize you as members. That's wrong on one side. And also, the members on their own cannot uh, in, in the absence, in all of this, so since the matters are in court, and you know, the Court of Appeal also heard that the State High Court lacks jurisdiction to, to declare the seat of a member vacant. Just the same way the Court of Appeal has heard that the Federal High Court lacks jurisdiction to, to determine election to a local government. So that said, presentation of budget to four members of the State House of Assembly for me, is an aberration. Because if you look at Section 91 that I have cited earlier on, Section 91 says, subject to the provisions of this Constitution, a House of Assembly of a state shall consist three or four times the number of seats which the state has in the House of Representatives, divided in a way to reflect as far as possible nearly equal population, provided that the House of Assembly of a state shall consist of not less than 24 members and not more than 40 members. So, and then if you now go to section 122, it says, if the appropriation bill in respect of any financial year has not been passed into law by the beginning of the financial year, the governor may authorize the withdrawal of money from the consolidated revenue of funds of the state for the purpose of meeting expenditure necessary to carry on the, the services of the government for a period not exceeding six months until the coming into operation of the law, whichever is earlier. So in the absence of even an appropriation law, for the first six months, the governor has power to withdraw from the consolidated revenue fund. So it is not a matter for the Federal High Court to now restrain. But well, this over six months, though. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the action here, mm. the, 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 where you ask a question, how did this all begin? Yeah. So it, if the House of Assembly now feels that the governor has committed you know, an infraction against the Constitution, it is left for the House of Assembly to deal with, and not for the court to say, because we operate, like I said, a feeding bottle system of government, punish the entire you know, indigents of River State, the entire residents of River State, right. because by withdrawing funds to them, because you feel their infraction. What the court is doing is interfering or doubling into the powers of the State House of Assembly. It's like the State House of Assembly has abdicated its responsibility. Well, the State in, has approached the court. In, 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 in one breath, it, 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 it is a matter for them to deal with internally. If the, this, the, gov, the State House of Assembly, the, uh, sorry, the Court of Appeal, uh, Federal High Court, can say, that the presentation of the budget was ultraviolet the Constitution, and that it should be represented. But that consequential order of withholding funds, it is not in the, 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 right. within the powers of the, the court to go for that. Granted, that consequential order was uh, not necessary. Like I said, it is punishing the entire 
both citizens, indigenous, and residents of River State, who will be deprived of the use of these funds because you feel that the State House of Assembly had not done what they should do. It's a very tricky situation, but let, let me bring in Mr. Pele. Mr. Pele, uh, I asked the question around um, what efforts are being made from a moral point now. I, I heard you. I heard you, Ayo. <laughs> I heard you, Ayo. Ayo, you think, um, I, I, I appreciate my good friend Leboros and, and all the lawyers who bring all kinds of interpretation to this matter. Uh, but I'm not zeroing on interpretation and, and all the legal interpretations and all that. I am consigned on the implication of this whole saga on the people of my state. Uh, I mean, I am not a lawyer, but uh, I've heard terms like doctrine of necessity and all that, where it applies, whether it applies in this case or not. But the point is, this is sheer wickedness on the people. And I don't think, and like Leveros rightly and aptly put it, this is not acceptable. Because whatever happened, the law is meant for the people. And when the law suffocates the people, I, I don't think that's, that's a law that anybody can give a thumbs up. You know, well, What is happening is sheer manipulation of the judicial structure to strangle the people. And some elements somewhere are benefiting on all of these issues. They are taking advantage of it to assert themselves, to further perpetuate their political desire at the expense of the people. And it, I, I sometimes I wonder if this set of people are truly river state, or they are just a mask river state people trying to strangle us and suffocate us. And this is not acceptable. No matter what anybody interprets it and how it's interpreted, and before you know it, uh, the likes of uh, Uncle Ruben and Leboros will say that uh, I'm bringing emotion to the matter. You can't separate emotion. When you go to court, do you go to court and leave the love of your wife at home? The love of your wife is also in, your, in that courtroom with you. The love of your family, the love of your country. You know, anyone, anyone who truly, truly wants to lead the people and bring succor to them and bring comfort to them, must not get involved in this. And, and my greatest concern is how the executive arm plays into the hands of these manipulative politicians who are taking advantage of the people and the resources of the people. You know? So whatever happens, I, I, I like the fact that Leboros is uh, kind enough to condemn the fact that this money must not be withheld from the people who needs it. And, and that's my concern. You know, we can sort out our differences, we can talk about what happens, but we shouldn't suffocate the people. What can we do going forward, Ayo, like you are rightly ask, you know? Uh, Ayo, I, when you said that, I said, oh, oh, Ayo, my friend, is uh, telling everybody that I'm, I'm old. You say elders like me. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yes, said I, indigenous and yeah, elders, so yeah, you might fall yes, into I the am. indigenous category. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> Well, 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 I am, I am, I am, and I'm proud of my old age, you know. Uh, however, what can we do? All of us are responsible for this. All of us need to hold these individuals accountable, call them to order. Although some of them are recalcitrant, they're uncontrollable. You can't call them to order, you can't talk to them. And when an individual is on a path of destruction, he does not listen to anybody but his own ambition, and selfish and self-centered uh, uh, agenda. And that is what is happening. There are some of them, you know, and, and I'm, please, get me right. I'm, 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 I'm spreading it on two sides of the, of, of the people involved, okay. you know. Can someone call them and they will listen? Okay. Can the likes of Odili and all the people responsible call these people to order? Must we fold our hands and watch everything destroyed before we start shouting. Okay, okay. I believe that dialogue is the way forward. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Pelle. I really appreciate you. But, you know, the Yoruba people have a saying that you don't have an elder in the market and the head of a child tilts backwards. But the truth is, it is the elders in this case yes. that okay. have bent the head of the child. 
And this also falls on the president of this country. True. President Tinubu complicated the matter to start with. And that's why my first question to you is this. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. Like they say, hindsight is 2020. Now you are reading constitution that you should have gone to constitution. What do you expect Fubara to have done at that <coughs> point in time? It's so easy for constitutional provision to say, okay, you should have gone to consolidate account. But at the time where Fubara had been betrayed, no, I haven't even been in Fubara had been betrayed. There was a raging controversy between both parts. The other faction had left. It was around that period they had gone to sign his death warrant, according to the deal by President Inubu, that tilted everything towards Wiki. I mean, in that heat, what do you expect Fubara to have done with his budget, and he still wanted to run the state and deliver the goods of democracy. Because it's so easy to read constitution. And, like, and that's why I subscribe to Mr. Jackie Pele, 100%. That let's leave law aside. Let's talk about reality. Yeah, it's so Rufai, easy. Rufai, don't let us not, um, when it is convenient, we no. say refer to the law. When it is not, we say abandon the law. No, you know what I said to? What because I said to? Well, if you were yeah, Fubara, we, what would you let, have done in those shoes? Let me, let, get me straight. Yes. I would, I would like to, I would we, like to we, answer this question. We, I, we do get to you. Let me, let get me, to you, sir. Yes, sir. Don't let us, um, when it is convenient, we say abandon the law. Mm. When it is not convenient, when it is um, not convenient, we say no, put the law aside. Otherwise, we'll resort to anarchy. It's and not anarchy we're when, practicing wait, in this wait, country. Wait, that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, so, would you respect? It's not anarchy we're practicing. So, so when we resort to anarchy, and at the end of the day, what you're going to have is, you know, massive chaos. It's so we in, have this, that in this case, what I have said, what I have said to support the fact that the Court of Appeal has no, the uh, Federal High Court has no powers to restrain FAC or federal government from paying money to the state uh, government. I supported with Section 122 to saying that even in the event that there is no budget, in the event that there is no budget, the state governor has power to st still draw down from the revenue of the state in the absence of a budget. And so in this the case, the lawmakers would not have run after him. In this case, is he, he not drawing? That? No, wait, what I'm saying, in is he not now, the seven, four members have been heard, four members passing a budget have been heard to be, you know, a joke taken too far and a, an abuse of the constitution. So the power is on the lawmakers now to activate the instrumentalities of the law to do whatever they, they feel they need to do, in, not to go to court to ask the court to restrain allocation, to restrain, it's like saying that no. the river state you, should you see, not you, eat. You, and you, and you, so, let, you, let me... You see, that's why, I'm sorry, with due respect, I don't understand you lawyers, I'm, and I'm with let, due respect. Let's see, understand this, is as this simple was a as context ABC. of a man that was running away from impeachment at that point in time. I think you should it's, factor that into the conversation. At the end of you the said day, he could have gone to the consolidated account it, where the lawmakers the could have the, indicted him based on going there. That's where so they are still getting to. So what could he have done? That's what I'm telling you. What if you were doing Fubara, that, what would you have done? That's, what I'm, that's where you're still getting to. That's where you're still getting. Because this action, if at the end of the day, the court now says, look, presentation of budget to four members is an aberration. Mm. And consistently, you have consistent of representing the budget, you have consistently, after six months, spend money. That is an impeachable offense. Are you not still playing into the hands so of the same people? Him. No, I'm not a member of the State House of Assembly. No, I'm just asking. Are you not still playing into the hands of the same people that you know want your head, you know, in the uh, guillotine? Okay. So in this case. You ask the question, what can be done? No matter what had happened before, the elders in um, River State had shown clearly that they have taken sides. The same, the box still rests at the table of Mr. President, no matter how we look at it. He's the only person, if we were after not a he, minister, after let, let, me, let, me, in the first place. let me let me say this, if we were not a minister, I tell you, all of this won't be happening. Sure. And so it is Mr. President that appointed Wiki as minister. That is what is embodying him. If Wiki, Wiki as a governor, everybody knows he will not take this from anybody. So the only person that can call the parties to order, the three of them, Mr. President, Wiki, and Fubara, just three of them, no supporters, just the three of them, allow the both parties to ventilate. After ventilating, then Mr. President can wade in to save the peace and quiet of River State. Otherwise, no matter how much we look at it legally or otherwise, uh, uh, elders of River State, because all of them clearly are taking side, 
they will not be able to okay, resolve it. Let me Except to... Mr. President is willing and ready to save the crisis in Let me come to Mr. Pele. Mr. Pele, sir, this was the same president that when he was yes. to intervene, he took sides. He pretty much told Fubara to go and sign his death warrant. Fubara signed that agreement, cost him a lot of problems. Fubara went to court to withdraw cases. The other faction of the National uh, State House of Assembly didn't withdraw their own case. And they continued their case, and they even used it against Fubara. So it's so easy to quote laws and legalese now, because hindsight, like we say, is always 2020. What would you have done if you were Fubara? Well, for, uh, uh, Rufai, I, I really want to um, congratulate you uh, for standing for the people and speaking as the voice of the people. Let me also clear myself to say that um, I'm, I try as much as possible to be objective in this matter. It's not correct when <coughs> Lebros is claiming that all the elders have taken side. That's not correct. However, in the interest of transparency, let me say that I, J. K. Pele, I come from the same place with Fubara. And my being uh, an Opopo man, uh, which is uh, a, 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 the same place with Fubara, does not influence my objective uh, um, views in matters like this. If this thing, if we were to be in the place of Fubara, I will still do the same thing I'm doing right now for Wiki. That said, you know, it's, it's incorrect, uh, uh, Lebros, my good friend, to say that all the elders have taken side. No, there are elders that are purely objective and trying to protect the interests of the people. The people matters more, more, my brother. That said, what would I have done if I was Fubara? probably do exactly what Fubara is doing. Because one, governance must continue. One man cannot hold the truth of the entire uh, uh, people of River State and say, is my way or the highway. It's not going to happen. And truth be told, I think Fubara has endured a lot. You can't push a man to the wall, and you want to break the wall for the man to shove his way out of the room. It's not possible. There are things he hasn't done well. There are things he has done much better. But the important thing is that when I look at Fubara, I see a man who wants to serve the people. I see a man who stands for the people. I see a man who has gained popularity of the you people are on the side of because Fubara. the people believe in him. <laughs> you are on the no, side I'm of not. Fubara, your, no, I'm not. your kinsman. No, anyway. no, Dr. Ruben, you know me. Dr. Ruben, Dr. Ruben, you know me. I will not. I am not. I am on the side of the people. I am strictly on the side of the people, on the side of morality, on the side of people that don't have access to quality health, quality education, that can't put food on their table. It is on their side that I remain. I'm not on the side of politicians. I'm not a good friend of them. Never will I be a good friend of them until they do the right thing. Really, I, I take you back to the statement that you made earlier. We can sort out our differences. Who and who is going to sort out the differences in River State? Is it Fubara sitting down with a wiki who says he's a lord and master of politics in uh, rivers and that even outsiders should not uh, put their mouth in it, as we say uh, literally, who are those people who are going to sort out the difference? The elders have been meeting, they've been coming on television and talking. What is the guarantee? Which way uh, will be the right way? Is it uh, Wiki's way? Is it the highway? Is it Fubara's way? As a concerned indigent of uh, River State, we'd like to know what you suggest as solutions. In specific terms, what you think is workable? And uh, uh, for uh, Liboros here with us in the studio, you said President Tinubu should intervene. Well, the other view is that people are saying President Tinubu doesn't have to be the headmaster of uh, problematic uh, parts of uh, Nigeria. Yes, he has uh, 
the overriding responsibility to ensure security and prevent breakdown of law and order. But if the politicians of uh, River State, if they say they don't uh, want to put their house in order, and there are other ways to take over the, the situation rather than the uh, president acting the headmaster. That said, it's in response to what you said earlier. But how do you think that this case is going to play out, this judgment that has been reserved, without prejudice to what their lordships uh, may well decide? Uh, if you look into the uh, crystal ball, if you want to make a forecast, how do you think the issue may be resolved without you know, dictating to the allocation. Of course, we won't yes. do that. Yeah, yes, um, quickly, um, I, I will reiterate, no matter the mistakes that have been made in the past, this particular crisis is not a crisis that will go away soon. And then secondly, like I said, if the minister, Wiki, were, were not a minister, I can tell you that he will not be disemboldened doing what he is doing. So like quickly. President, you know, sack him no, so no, that there will be wait, peace. Like, like they just allow me. If you look at what happened in, in Edo State between Oshomole and um, Governor Godwin Obaseki then, when Oshomole was party leader, he could detect. The moment he left office as party leaders, even his phone, like you, you rightly said, his phone stopped ringing. And so that gave um, Godwin Obaseki, you know, the comfort, even though at the end he also played the same thing he criticized Oshomole about. You know, just the same Oshomole is doing what he criticized Anani about now. So in that vein, if you look at the crisis in River State, whether the elders like it or not, most, most of them have taken side, depending on them, because it's all about funds, it's all about money. Even in Wiki is talking about who oh, is position. Not position, it's about, it boils down to the money, funds of River State. And so, the president, if you look at the positions of the law, and you say, let's follow the law, it's not a problem that's about to go away soon. And in most cases, you hear people saying, oh, the judiciary has been compromised. That is the same, the House of Assembly has been compromised, the executive has been compromised. So, let Mr. President, for one once again, at us, you know, the leader of all, you gave wiki appointment, the governor is a governor, elected by the people. So, you, I'm not saying sack wiki, but you, you, can, you can rein him in. Yeah. You can rein him in by it's, calling him to order. How can you call him to order? No, wait. How can wiki you call him to anybody? Wait, yeah, yes, he, he, he can. Really? We, yes, if, if I'm a president, for example, <laughs> and I appointed you minister, and I give you instruction well, that I want peace, though. And at the end of the day, you fail to. I will sack you. So what's the, but, he, but must he be here? That's, 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 that's what I'm first. But the first step should be. The first step should be. You know, call both parties. Sit down and you know, tell your minister. He because, has done that. He has okay. Some people to rivers. So, so in, 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 no. outside, outside of that. Outside of all of that, that's the only way, for me, that's the only way peace can come to River State. Let the people decide. And then, I also say this copiously. The governor, I don't see any, any uh, in the absence of a superior court order, sacking the members of the State House of Assembly. I don't see why the governor should not be able to present, represent the budget. He's fighting a battle of his life. He should not play into the hands of people that want his head in the guillotine. So I, so no, I do not see why he should not be able to represent the budget to the State House of Assembly that the Court of Appeal has recognized. So it's a simple thing, but it's all politics. I'm not looking at the politics of it. Like, I look at the law and I look at the people of River State because I also lived in Port Harcourt at some point, and I know the impact of lack of funds. And the president also knows what it means to with, withhold funds. Yeah. So in looking at the, the, uh, uh, the crystal ball, without prejudice to the, the, the judgment that had been reserved, I think the Court of Appeal most, most, most probably will also ask the governor to represent that budget, but the consequential order of withholding funds, because it is not in the, 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 within the powers of the court to withhold funds to state. Even when Obasanjo did it, he was serially condemned, including the sitting president today, did condemn him. And everybody today, some people today who are supporting the withholding, of, who are in APC today, who are supporting the withholding of funds, did also condemn Obasanjo, you know, despite um, a Supreme Court order. So, 
I do not also subscribe to any uh, federal government withholding even a cobble that you know is agreeable to any state or local government in Nigeria. And the fact that, I like, thank God, the uh, uh, fact is saying that. Um, in, since there is a, a stay of execution, that funds is going to be re re released. But we shouldn't play politics with the lives of people. We shouldn't play politics with salaries. We shouldn't play politics with uh, development. So th that's why I think, in that regard, that yes, the battle can go on. Thank God they've consolidated five other suits that will deal with the issue of tenure, do we deal with the issue of uh, budget passing? We'd also deal with the issue of allocation. So once all of these okay. you know, are done okay. with, then I think Thank we'll you. have a way forward. Let's hear from Mr. Pele. Mr. Pele. The, the, yes. Yes, uh, Uncle Ruben. Breaking news. Leveros call for the sack of Wiki. Uh, that's the breaking news. Um, however, you know, it's pertinent uh, for us to put this whole matter in context, uh, is the fact that I, 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 if I'm the one conducting this interview, I will ask laborers, who will, which assembly will uh, uh, um, Fubara present this? Is it the 27 lawmakers that have been sacked constitutionally by their action or, or the four people? I, I don't know, but however, um, what can be done, number one, Let's be honest, the president has lost credibility over this issue. He cannot sit in and give a non-partial uh, uh, solution. My, 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 my way of going forward is, number one, bring all the leaders of the state. Uh, Tonya, my friend, had postulated that on this show. Bring everybody concerned because there are lingering issues that affects everybody, whether it's Odili, uh, Ada George, um, 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 uh, Celeste Nomeya, uh, Amechi, uh, the Wike himself, and Fubara. All of them, there are lingering issues that connects all of them in all this matter. They need to be brought in the same room. <clears throat> A neutral person, someone that we can trust, will be very neutral. And I've said it, I've mentioned name before. Coca, Bishop Coca, um, uh, Abdul Salam, General Gowan, uh, Good Luck Jonathan. If the president hands over the responsibility of arbitrating for the resolve of these lingering issues, and these people will look them in the eyes and say, Wike, you're right on this, you're wrong. Sometimes perspective matters. They are all going with their different perspective of the matter and their selfish interests. On both camp, we need to bring them together in one room, look them in the eyes, and tell them the destruction that they are causing, which is impacting the people. The people is more important than these politicians. These crooked politicians whose self-interest are driving them crazy and making some of them drunk, you know, either with alcohol or with power. We need to stop this nonsense and nip it in the board. And, and I think also it's important for this confusion that sometimes lawyers bring to this uh, issue. You know, one way you're saying, oh, they should de do this. The other way you're saying, release the fund. It doesn't make sense to me. Let's throw one line, and one line of action is simple. Let the people receive what is due to them so that we can provide the necessary uh, uh, resources that the state needs to ensure that the people don't suffer. The people is important in this, and the president must know that he's the president of River State and other states. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kwele. A law must be passed on how the funds of the states. It's an appropriation. You cannot spend the money anyhow. Okay. There thank must you very be a law. Much. Thank you very much, Liberal Sushuma. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on the morning show today.